and duck like working at the harbour by the sea. On a clear summer's night, there is no better place to be. The big ships bring passengers. Cargo ships carry machinery and other things. Duck and Percy puff backwards and forwards with the crates of cargo as they are loaded and unloaded by the quayside. One morning, Duck and Percy noticed that the horizon was packed with sails, flapping against the blue sky. I wish I could sail to faraway lands, sighed Duck. Engines can't go sailing, snorted Percy, because engines can't float. Duck still had his dreams. Suddenly, they were rudely interrupted. Wakey, wakey! Bobbed Harold. I'm looking at the boat, replied Duck. That's the regatta, whirred Harold. Lots of boats, lots of races, great fun. I hop around in case I'm needed. Do you go to the horizon? asked Duck. Yes, and beyond. I didn't know there was a beyond, whispered Percy. Do you go to other places at sea? continued Duck. Certainly. I can land on ships, you know, anywhere, anytime. Goodbye. Duck sighed. He went on talking about the regatta all day. Percy lost patience. Well, Duck, I'd rather have my wheels on solid ground. Our rails can take us to all the places we could ever wish to see. That's an emergency, called Duck's driver. I'll check with the harbour master. He returned with bad news. A man taking part in the regatta has hurt his hand. We're to take him to the hospital at the next station. Harold's bringing him now. Come on. Good to see you again, Duck. Word Harold as he landed carefully on the platform. The man was gently helped to safety. My job is to stay at sea in case of other emergencies. Otherwise, I would take this gentleman to hospital myself. Must fly. Goodbye. Duck set off on his journey. Soon he was steaming well and his wheels were thundering along the track. When they reached the station, the man thanked everyone, and Bertie got ready to take him to hospital. You look splendid flying along the line, Duck, glowed Bertie. No wonder they call you Great Western. Percy's right, Duck thought to himself. Engines are happiest when their wheels are firmly on the rails. That night, Percy and Duck stayed a little longer at the quay. The air was warm and the sea calm. There's a shooting star, said Duck. Don't be daft, laughed Percy. It's Harold. Look, he's hovering overhead. Something fluttered down towards Duck. His driver caught it. It's a flag from the regatta. Harold's giving it to you as a present, Duck. That was kind of Harold, whispered Duck. He may have whirly arms instead of wheels, but he seems to understand just what an engine needs. Duck still wonders about the lands beyond the horizon, but he enjoys being with friends most of all, and I think he knows that sometimes the best travels are those we can only dream about. Don't you?
It's the bear. It's the bear. And I'm coming. <laughs> 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 I'm the bear, I'm the bear, with brown fuzzy hair. I'll go running over here, and I'll go running over there. <laughs> I'm the bear, I'm the bear, with brown fuzzy hair. I'll hide over here, <laughs> and I'll hide over there. Can you see me? I'm the bear, I'm the bear, with brown fuzzy hair, and I know a joke. for the bear. I know she's hiding, but I don't know where. Oh. I am the scary lion, and I'm looking for the bear. I'm looking over here, and I'm looking over there. Can you see it? Where's the bear? <laughs> Where's the bear? <laughs> Where's the bear? Ha <laughs> ha 